Here we are at part 5 of my video walkthrough from Mega Man X3. We're heading back into Neon Tiger stage. Um, yeah, we need to get the arm upgrade out of this level. I just like to wait until after I beat Neon Tiger because it's a little easier without it. And we can also pick up all these nice free energy capsules again and try to get our energy tank stored up. Alright, more energy! Yep, pretty much uh, the same as before here. Uh, I love the vertical dash, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, get over here and blow up these gates. And just over here to the right, past the uh, gun turret, there's a cracked looking wall here. We can tunnel rhino our way through here, or tornado fang. Slide down the wall, jump, air dash across here, vertical dash up to here. I want to make sure you got that leg upgrade. Enter this capsule, X. Take this X Buster upgrade. The upgrade will increase the strength of your charged shots. You will be able to shoot a two charged shots at once. Ooh. If timed correctly, you can overlap the shots to create a single cross-charged shot. The upgrade will also allow you to charge any special weapon. Well, doesn't that sound complicated? Yeah, our first shot is like these two little balls that kind of move semi-slow, and then the second shot's like a normal X-Buster shot. But if the second one runs into the first one, then it makes a super big shot, which it demonstrates for us. Bam, bam! Whoa. Ah, it is powerful, but it's kind of slow. <laughs> Alright, now that we got the arm upgrade, let's move on to the next area. It's the airport. And it's guarded by Gravity Beetle. I'm doing pretty good. I killed three bosses with the X Buster. Haha. -ha. But I'm gonna start using special weapons in this one. Yeah, if you move fast enough, you can blow up like lots of enemies if they're all like kind of in line with those shots, because they'll just keep going until they go off the edge of the screen, so. Alright, more energy. Unfortunately I took hits, so I didn't go to my tank. Oh boy, it's one of these boss doors. Do we have to fight anybody? Nope, we're good. Awesome. Alright, and if we climb this tower here and jump up here in vertical dash just right, we can get this chip. That is the F chip, and it allows us to use frog. Um, there's these robot ride armor summoning places in some of the levels, and uh... We can summon robot ride armor um, once we've activated them. And uh, we can pick any robot ride armor that we have a chip for. So we'll be able to activate those in the next level. You have to release Chimera before you can... Or Chimera, <laughs> as somebody pointed out in a Final Fantasy video. Um, yeah, you have to release Chimera before you can have access to any of them, but then you know, we can use whatever chips we want after that. Uh, Chimera is the robot armor from the first Mega Man X, and we also have um, the robot armor from the second Mega Man X, and then two new ones, Frog and Hawk. So, well, get to enjoy them. But I like to use Zero up to that point, just so I can make sure X doesn't take damage and get that energy capsule for myself. And we can pick up some more energy up here. Just uh, blow this dude up, and there's an energy capsule on every one of these ledges. Oh, weak! <laughs> Didn't kill him fast enough, he hit me with a bullet. And we got one more. Awesome! I filled the tank. Alright, I don't need the elevator anymore. And do we have a mini boss? Nope, sure don't. Awesome. 
Alright, let's just get to the end of this. And one, two! Awesome! I two hitted him. Oh, uh, I gotta love vertical dash. Alright, enemies are gonna get a little tougher here. Now, those little red robots there that shoot missiles, once you take out the munitions factory, they actually get weaker. They uh, turn green in there. The shots aren't nearly as strong, so that's kind of cool. Nope, Mr. Crab, you're not getting your charge shot up on me this time. Ooh. Ooh, sweet, more energy. Alright, we made it to the boss. That was pretty quick. And I'm going to use a special weapon. Uh, Gravity Beetle is weak to the Ray Splasher. Which is like our little machine gun. It's kind of a neat weapon. Alright, buddy. Hmm. Oh, come on. Please tell me that you're at least going to attack me. No, no, he is not. The Ray Splasher completely interrupts anything that he's possibly doing, and then he just jumps. Yep, that's that. Probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, if you have this weakness. Oh, I feel bad for him. I really do. Awesome. Ooh, it's some kind of ball. And for defeating him, we get... The Gravity Well! 